Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my classroom. Now today I'm going to go over a product that I use in my art a lot. It's called the Incredible White Mask. And over here on the left is a kit that it comes in, and it's on, available on my website. I'm going to go over each one of the items that are in the kit, and I'll give you a, a demonstration of how it can be applied. So let's go to my painting table and let's get started. The Incredible White Mask kit comes in uh, three parts. First of all is the two ounce bottle of the white mass of the white mass fluid. And then it comes with a and I'll leave these attached, but it comes here with a what they call a dipstick, which is what how you use to apply. And then there's a re, there's the frisket remover. Uh, and it comes in a it's a piece of rubber that's uh, used to remove the masking fluid after it's dried. Okay, and also in the also in the kit, there's a uh, a little pamphlet here along tips and special techniques. It gives you a couple ideas of how to use it and so forth. And I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of that today. So that's what comes in the kit, and it's available on my website on my supply page, EverestWaterColors.com. And I'm going to draw a simple diagram here. I guess uh, uh, a, petal, a couple petals on a on a white flower. And what I do is uh, I take the uh, the dipstick with the uh, masking fluid in the bottle, and I have a little piece of. Uh, Actually, it's a paper towel. I wet the, the uh, dipstick, make it a little bit moist, and then the masking fluid. I dip it in. This this dip, this dipstick does a nice job. And then you spread this out. Now, in the past, I used to use uh, an old uh, paintbrush, but I had to keep washing it out with uh, soap all the time. So. This is a lot easier and much more convenient to apply. Now what it'll if it starts drying on you, what you do, you take it and just pull off the ends of it. Keep it moist. So use this, use this uh, dipstick to spread it out on the, on the item. Now also say the stems. You turn it on its edge here, and you can get a, a fine line. So you you can get more detail using the different parts of the of the uh, diptych. Let me bring it up close for you. You can see here it's got an angle on it, and that angle you can use you can use as a point. To give you the uh, nice, font, nice fine line as far as the uh, stems, branches, and things like that on a tree, or if you want to have something real fine. And also, what I've done so is sometimes I'll sign my paintings. I'll just I'll put my initials or put my actual name on there in a white mask. Okay. Now, one thing I do is I, I always keep the lid on when it's not in use. Because it, if it starts to dry out, you're just going to get real clogged up in there. And what I do, when I store it, it'll be lying on my uh, painting table like this. And then every every other day or so, I'll turn it over and turn it upside down. Now what that does, that that mixes the it keeps the white mass mixed up inside the bottle, so it doesn't coagulate or start to uh, get hardened on you. Okay, now that'll, that'll stay away for quite a while. Okay. All right, now I've got, a, I've got a painting over here I've already started. You can see here I've got the white mask on it. Now what I did is I painted flower petals with the white mask. And in the center I've actually put watercolor paper, a watercolor paint. And I put watercolor paint on the stem. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I've mixed up some uh, dark blue paint here. And I'm going to paint right over top 
right over top of that background. So let's say that's the sky color or the background color. Then pick up a little bit of ground color down here. Okay. Now, then you let it dry. <clears throat> okay, once it's dry, now it's ready to take the uh, masking fluid off. And this is uh, this is a liquid frisket uh, remover. It's called rubber cement pickup, but it's actually uh, a, a piece of rubber that is used for picking up the white mask. So when you take it off, all you should have to do is just uh, to get it started, And you can pull it off with your fingers uh, when you get part of it pulled off. So I'll leave, I'll leave some of it staying on here. I just want to, you can see how the, the mesh is still attached to the paper. Now what I've done here is I, I, I masked out the, the white area to show the white petals. And then I also covered a pre-painted stems. In other words, you can, you can mask out the white paper to save the white paper and then paint around it. You can also cover up an area that you already have painted that you don't want to have disturbed. And this is what I did here with the green stem. So I put masking fluid on top of that and then when you take it off you have the color that you painted down there. So you can mask you can mask to save out to save the white paper. You can also mask out uh, colors that you put down before. And here's some marks I made down with the with the edges. Uh, these could be these were just little fine marks I put down. And I even wrote my even wrote my name down here. And use your use your other hand. To, you can feel the met, you can feel the rubber cement on the paper with your other hand just by touching it, and you'll feel the roughness. And you pick it up with the the white mask remover. So with the uh, white mask in the bottle, as part of the kit, it's uh, two ounces in a in a bottle. Uh, the the, the uh, mask remover pickup. And then the, uh, the dipstick, those are all three pieces of, of the kit, all come together. Okay, and these are available on my website, on my, web, on my supply page, www.everestwatercolors.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, it helps in my rating. See you on the next video.